praise the lord so welcome to another episode on hope and today the theme is about the foundation of our hope is prayer and intercession so i have a very close friend and i call her my prayer partner and when we get together what we do is we pray we praise we intercede we worship the lord and every prayer ends with happiness joy peace and lot of joy within us and at the end of the prayer she tells me uh, when both of us go to heaven uh, we will keep on singing and praising the lord for ever and ever and ever and she tells me the hope hope for this hope for this beautiful experience uh, you know, desire for it and dream about it and i have heard this story i have heard the comment more than 100 times what a wonderful hope i believe these are the moments when we experience heaven on earth we don't have to wait till we die to experience this heavenly moments and as we praise thank and worship the lord we are given glimpse of heaven on this earth so what does that mean as we pray and thank the lord and worship we are comforted by the lord himself we are comforted by his presence we are comforted by his mighty anointing and right and as we praise and thank the lord heaven opens above us and there are a lot of healings take place there are breakthroughs that come into our lives if there are addictions if people are caught up in sin they are mighty the mighty grace of god overshadows us and we can receive insights and guidance from the lord the uh, in the book of revelation chapter 21 verse 25 it says on no day will the gates of heaven ever be shut for there will be no night there imagine no night there in other words there's no anxiety no fears no worries and always we are under the shadow of the lord so every one of us in, is invited to enter into this kingdom of god and endless opportunities are given for those who seek the lord in hope because there will be mighty mighty power that is flowing down from heaven so recently i met a mother who testified that her son was born with a small tiny heart and doctors have said that uh, this child this baby can live only for two weeks and they were living in a foreign country it which is a developed country where medical science uh, is so developed and when a surgeon gives an opinion that becomes the end of the road but this mother didn't give up she told everybody overseas wherever uh, she met for everyone to pray for for this baby there were a lot of intercessions going on for this little child and after two weeks the doctor said now we should be able to perform a surgery because we can see a tiny valve in his heart prayer can move mountains so she says normally people run run away when they hear the word surgery but for her it meant hope so surgery after surgery there were many surgeries and this baby's condition improved now he's 17 years old but it's a long way more she this child has to go a long way but the fact is mother and the son they live in hope and every day is a day of hope and happiness and joy praise the lord praise the lord so even in our situations even when we face our daily situations whatever it may be whatever it may be we can turn to the lord because god can save the moment we turn our eyes towards him in isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 it says your light will rise in the darkness and your shadows become like noon that means there won't be no, any shadows 
and in the kingdom of God, all anxieties, all worries, all pain, all suffering, whatever it may be, we live in hope. And the moment we are living in hope of the Lord, there is mighty power that is available for us. The grace of God overshadows us. And prayer and intercession never goes unanswered. God hears every cry of us. And I, and I want to uh, share this beautiful uh, story about a man who was anointed, who was, a, who was, who was uh, popular, he was famous for healing people. And one particular day, he got an invitation from a family that their daughter was dying of pneumonia. He was far, far away. And then he had to come on a bicycle. And throughout the night, throughout the day, he was peddling the bicycle and he came to this house. It was noon. It was almost getting um, late in the afternoon. And when he entered the house, you know, there was so much of darkness, fear, crying. He, enter, he entered into this child's room. And this child was lying um, lifeless. And he said, I want to be alone with this child and pray. And he knelt beside her bedside. And he kept on praying and praying and interceding for her. And as it was almost midnight, and... While he was praying, this child became, he was, she, this child turned blue. And her lips were blue and her body became lifeless. And from the corner of his eyes, he saw a dark shadow in the corner. And he saw this shadow trying to tell him and laughing and making um, all sorts of noises. And he heard the voice it said, in vain you came, in vain you came. This child is dead, no point, just turn back and go, and laughed aloud. He didn't go give up hope, but he kept on praying. He looked at, he didn't look at the child, but he kept on praying, and he believed, and he hoped that the Lord will do something. And as he was praying for another one or two hours, he saw something happening. From the window, he saw a bright light falling towards this child's body. A brilliant light. And this child, this, uh, this girl who was almost dead, slowly that blue color became pink. And as he watched, she started to move. And she started to breathe. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So this is a true testimony. And this is what prayer and intercession does. It has supernatural power. And it like incense. As incense, as we pray, it mingles with the wind and goes towards the heaven. And that is the prayer that goes from us. And when we cry to the Lord, praying fervently, there is mighty anointing power that is flowing down from heaven. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So if we focus, if we... Uh, if you focus our eyes on a, say, in a dark night, maybe if you stand near a seashore, and if you look at the sky, when everything is dark, you can see only thousands and thousands of stars shining with the brilliance. And if maybe everything is dark, no lights whatsoever. Um, everything has been shut down. Then... As you look up, as you see the stars shining, that is what happens when we close our senses, when we close down our mind, thoughts, and focus only on the Lord, mighty things that we have never seen before. Great and brilliant thoughts, ideas, God's, God's, God's revelations start happening in our lives. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So shall we, shall we close our eyes for a moment and take this moment to intercede for our families, for all of us, for our country, everything that, is, that we are seeking for, and especially, especially the situations that are beyond our understanding. 
thinks that we can't do anything by ourselves, shall we lift up everything at this moment? Ask the Lord, come into our midst. And as the scripture says, lift up everything. The Lord is near. He can hear us. He can hear our cry. Do not be anxious about it. And do not worry too much about it. But lift everything in prayer, in hope, because the Lord will never let you down. Every prayer is being answered. And he knows what, is, what we are going through. And the peace of God, the peace of God that transfers, transfers, that surpasses all understanding. There are lots of things that we do not understand. There are lots of things that are happening beyond our understanding. But the Lord is aware. All what we have to do is to be aware and to, and to hold on to him and to trust him and to hope in him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So let's close our eyes for a moment. Turn to the Lord. Dear Lord, I come as I am today. There are so many things that are bothering me. There are so many things that I can't handle. Some are beyond me. I do not know how to answer, but my hope is in you. Lord Jesus, I know even before the world was created, you had a plan for each and every one of us. You had a mighty plan that, that will take us to a high level. Lord Jesus, we know as we pray that as we lift up our eyes towards you, we are taken into another realm, into another dimension. We are, so, we are things beyond our understanding. Supernatural things start happening. There are lots of things that are happening around us, but we know you have an answer for everything. We know, Lord Jesus, that your power, that your mighty anointing will touch and heal us today. Abba Father, as we lift up our eyes and minds towards you, help us to go deeper in prayer. Help teach us, Lord Jesus, how we can proceed in our prayer to go deeper and deeper. All this we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.